A Vietnamese real estate tycoon was sentenced to death Thursday in the country's biggest ever financial fraud case, a shocking development in an intensifying anti-corruption drive in the Southeast Asian nation. Chuang Mi Lan, a high-profile businesswoman who chaired a sprawling real estate company, was arrested in 2022. The 67-year-old was formally charged of fraud amounting to $12.5 billion, nearly 3% of Vietnam's 2022 GDP. A key player in Vietnam's financial world, she orchestrated the 2011 merger of the beleaguered Saigon Joint Stock Commercial Bank with two other lenders. The court found that she then used this to illegally control over 90% of the bank, a charge she denies and approved thousands of loans to ghost companies that eventually found their way back to her. The court added that she then bribed officials to cover her tracks. Her case is now amongst the most high-profile and ongoing corruption drive in Vietnam known as the Blazing Furnace that has touched the highest echelons of Vietnamese politics. Last month, the former president resigned after being implicated in the campaign. Analysts say that the case has dampened Vietnam's economic outlook and made foreign investors jittery. I think it's very affecting for it because it signals that the party's uh, commitment to crack down on corruption has been expanded to other sectors, you know, in addition to the state and bureaucracy as we normally see in uh, previous cases. So we actually to an uncharted water in Vietnamese politics. So I think it's really hard uh, to, to predict what will you know, what's going to come next. Um, the trial against Jung Milan and SCB is, I would say, a show trial in the sense that the government wants to make an example of case for the upcoming, you know, other cases.